Today our topic is distance and displacement, speed and velocity. How the distance connected with the speed and velocity connected with displacement and that's what we're going to learn today. And so let's how we start our conversation by asking you sim two simple questions. Number one, what would be the distance and displacement when this car, when this taxi moves from town A to town B? Pause the video, answer this question before you continue. Let's ask you a second question. What would be the distance and displacement of this taxi when it moves from town A to town B and returns to town A? Uh, so pause the video again, answer this question before you continue. For example, I'm going to give you, uh, uh, let's, let's, let's one example over here. This is 1D kinematics. Today we are doing 1D kinematics. So Barry is at X1. Barry is at, I don't know, 10 meter. And X2, he is at 30 meter. I want you to find the distance. I want to find the displacement. I want you to find the vector. Okay. So the distance would be what? The distance would be the total path travel. So the distance is total path. That's the distance. That's the distance. Uh, that's the distance. Uh, the 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 definition of distance total path travel so what is the total path travel total path from 10 meter to 30 meter so 20 meter so the distance is 20 meter the displacement displacement is df minus di so df is 30 meter minus di is 10 meter so is 20 meter 20 meter to the east so the vector that represent this would be All right, so the vector would be this is 20 meter and this is the red part, red part telling us the east. Okay, let's consider another example in which I'm going to show you that it doesn't always have to be um, to the east, it can be west, it can be negative. So this is an example uh, x meter. So you have x1 which is, uh, which is 30 meter and x2 which is 10 meter. I wanted to find distance, I wanted to find displacement, I wanted to find vector. All right, so the distance, the total path travel is still, the total path travel between these two points is 20 meter. And the displacement is df minus di all the time. So displacement, displacement is df minus di. So what is the df? df is 10 and di is 30 so is negative 20 meters so what is negative 20 meter look like negative means negative means negative means arrow is to the this way arrow is to the west and 20 is the magnitude so this is the 20 okay so the negative means this negative means west and this arrow means 20 okay now I'm gonna get to show you. I'm gonna show you the speed versus speed versus velocity. When we talk about a speed versus velocity, we talk about speed is a scalar and velocity is a vector because the speed gives you one information and velocity gives you two info. So velocity gives you two, one, two info and speed gives you one info. Okay, now with that understanding, let's go back to the problem I, I showed you a few times, a few seconds ago. And that is problem is like that, meter. So the problem is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, Barry moves to the 70 meter and then he turns around and he stops right here. What I want you to find is the speed and I want you to find the velocity. And I also want you to find the vector. All right, so speed, let's do the speed over here. The speed for this problem, the speed is total path travel versus divided by elapsed time. So total path travel would be what? Total path travel would be red plus blue. 
And elapsed time would be, let's give you some elapsed time. Let's say 70 seconds. So elapsed time is, elapsed time is 70 seconds. All right, so 70 seconds. So then 100 meter over 70 seconds. So it's 1.4 meter per second. This is your speed. Now let's find the velocity. Let's see how the velocity look like. Velocity is df minus di tf minus ti. Now what is the df? The df is, of course we know that the displacement and we know the arrow, this arrow, this arrow is 40 meter. We know that the displacement is 40 because we calculated in the morning. And uh, elapsed time is 70 seconds. So this is 0.57 meter per second. But this is not a correct answer because we have to say whether it is east or west. So this is east. Now I'm going to draw the vector that show the east. I'm going to write east to the red. So I will put the arrow to represent the, the direction. And I'm going to put the magnitude by drawing the arrow. So this is an example where speed and velocity, you see the example. Today we're going to end our conversation by a small quiz, consists of four questions. Question number one, what would be the distance and displacement when this car moves from point A to point B? Pause the video, solve the problem before you continue. Question number two, what would be the distance and displacement when this car moves from point A to point B but somewhat taking different paths? Now, question number three, what would be the distance and displacement when the car moves from location A to location A and then location B right here. And then finally, I have a question is when, uh, what would be the distance and displacement when the car moves from location A uh, to the north, location B and to the location uh, C and then location D and back to location A. What would be the distance and displacement? This is the last question.